Listen to this. Listen to this, little man. This is the sound of Christmas. Yeah. Two drunk people shouting at each other. Hey, hey. Oh, hello, boy. Who is? What? Nan. Give you Nan. That's my little brother. Right? Not usually big on cuddles, is he? How's Linda? Right. Uh, yeah. Dinner's going to be in ten minutes. She's in for another day. We're going to have uh, some roast potatoes, bit of turkey, nice bit of stuffing. I don't know what happened last night. I'll tell you what happened, little man. Oh, the Christmas came, didn't they? Hey, we haven't checked Granddad Stan's market clock. Yep. Let's go see if he's still working. Go ahead. Yeah? That's it, go ahead. Come on. <laughs> I ain't a kid, Dad. Your mum's had a bit of an old year, so she's, she's, she's been getting on it a little bit. What are you saying? She's got a drink problem. Well, she's not putting vodka on her cornflakes like your nanny, so... No, she's been getting a little bit covered away with it. And so you leave her? But in hospital on her own on Christmas Day? I'm not stopping, but we've only had our electric cut off. Oh, yeah. Little pig's got no blankets and the poor kids are starving. Oh. Well, we're meant to be at Phil's, Mum. I haven't got much in. If only you managed to shop, eh? <laughs> Hiya. Phil's cancelled dinner. Needed more bubbles. What's wrong? Cat? What ain't wrong? Oh, what's happened? Stacey has left me in charge and I've let everyone down. It's Christmas Day, we've got no electric. We've had to barricade ourselves in so they don't up the rent. What, you're being forced out? And I can't find a shop that sells anything that you don't have to cook. Hey, hey, come on. No. Jean's had such a year, yeah, with, with the cancer and chemo after chemo and Sean and Stacey leaving and, and Daniel dying. I just want to give them a nice Christmas dinner. Right, you come over to me later. No, we can't. I've already got half the Mitchells coming anyway. I think I could squeeze in a few slaters and all. <laughs> 